actually sitting outside of the cancer center right now. Um, I just got tested for COVID, so we're gonna see how that goes. They said they're gonna call me tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's actually the day, so they're supposed to call me to tell me my results for the test, and they're supposed to call me tomorrow and tell me what time my surgery is the next day. So my surgery is day after tomorrow. I am really scared, and I feel like the closer like the time comes, is the more scared I feel, obviously. But um, Becky had to park pretty far away, so I'm just sitting out here on a bench getting some sun because I need it. And I noticed my skin is kind of getting like yellow. And in my blood work, it did say that um, one of my liver like levels, it starts with a B, I don't remember, it was up by like one point. So it's kind of nerve wracking. Um, I don't know, I just have a lot of health problems going on and it's just scary. Hey guys, so it has been two days since I last talked to you. Yesterday, um, I got a call saying I tested negative for COVID and they gave me my um, arrival time. I have my uh, mask up here just so I can, it's just a very quick, you know. My mom's actually not with us because I can only have one person stay there. I'm supposed to stay up to like three days, they said, or I don't know. So Becky has her bag, I have mine. Um, I don't know, I'm just like freaking out. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't wanna cry, so I'm just scared. Um, it's 9.54, we have to be there in 36 minutes. Um, I think we're gonna make it just fine. <sighs> Anyways, I will keep you guys updated or try to. Maybe Becky can. Who knows? Maybe not. She'll probably be freaking out herself the whole time. It just sucks that my mom had to stay home, but I, I mean, I understand because COVID and whatever. But, um, all right, I'll see you guys later. Hopefully. Hey guys. My eyes are really swollen, um, but I did it. Um, the surgeon told Becky that the surgery went perfect. Um, that honestly shocks me, but I'm glad I'm in a lot of pain, obviously. And I've done a lot of crying. Maybe that's why my eyes look the way they do. I don't know. Um, since I stepped foot in the hospital. Also, I'm swollen right here. Yeah, I don't know. Since I stepped foot in the hospital, until right now, it's been 13 hours. So, everything happened in 13 hours. And I finally got a room, and Becky's here with me. I'm on a liquid diet, so that's fun. It actually is fine with me because this water, pretty freaking great. But I just wanted you guys to know that I'm okay and I hope I continue being okay. Hey guys, so it is the next day. Um, a lot, uh, a lot is happening um, and has happened. I, uh, I might make like a whole video on like my experience because it's a lot um but just like a few random facts before my surgery I got an epidural um about two hours ago they had me stand for the first time and I got really dizzy and really nauseous like I almost puked, and so I had to sit down, lay down. It's frustrating. Um, and it's because of the meds. I'm not used to being on these type of meds. I feel crazy on them. Um, it's still swollen right here. My eyes are no longer swollen. Um, I was hooked up to medicine I no longer am so 
my pain is probably gonna get worse. Um, what other updates do I have? Oh yeah, they told Becky that my cancer was very deep in my uterus and they're glad that they got it out when they did. Um, that's scary. Um, but I'm very grateful that the surgeon is so amazing and she was able to do this. Um, what are the updates? I don't really know. Um, if I think of anything, I'll let you guys know. Oh, I had a catheter and they took that out about six hours ago and I haven't peed on my own. So that's kind of worrisome. I mean, on a daily basis, I don't pee a lot anyways, so. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I have this little fan. I don't know if you guys can see it. Because I was sweating really bad. Like, I was so hot and just sweating like crazy. And as you guys know, I don't really sweat, so it was very odd. Um, but so far, so good. And I'll catch up with you guys later again. Hey guys, so it's day three in the hospital. Um, update, last night I was bleeding and um, a big blood clot came out, so that's not good. Since then, I haven't had that happen again. I've been doing nothing but sleeping all day and all night. Um, I have done bowel movement and farting. I know it's TMI, but they want you to do that and I've done that. I am peeing by myself. Um, so all that's good. The thing is, whenever I get up, I get extremely nauseous. Like, I'm about to puke and my head hurts up here and my face gets really hot, like on fire. So those are the things that I'm struggling with right now. And I'm pretty sure the reason why I'm sleeping so much is because of the medicine I'm on. I don't know. I don't like sleeping all the time. So it's definitely a downfall. Um, I know for sure they're keeping me another night to watch over me. Um, I had to do this oxygen thing. And the guy was actually, this is a good thing, was actually shocked at how well my lung, how good my lungs are. So that made me feel really good. And um, I bypassed, because what they do is they put it on a little level thing to where they want you to go. And I bypassed it like super far. It's supposed to measure like how well your lungs are working. Anyways, oh yeah, and I'm barely eating, so that's not really good either. Like, I'm talking every time they bring me something. The breakfast, I'll take one bite. Lunch, I'll take one bite. Dinner, I'll take one bite. Um, oh no, today has been really rough on me. And um, I just hope I start feeling better, because this, this is the worst feeling I think I've ever experienced, so... I'm gonna go now. So we're at day four of being in the hospital. My skin is really dry, as you can tell on my face. Um, my incision is perfect looking. Everything's perfect with that. I still have a headache, I'm still not eating, and I'm always nauseous. I just don't know what else to say. Um, I'm just miserable, and um, I just want it all to go away. I want it all to go away. I don't even know what I'm saying. I want it all to go away. Like, I just want to go back to my old self. And I keep asking myself, why me? Why did this have to happen to me? I just, I feel horrible. And I'm barely drinking any liquids. I'm trying my hardest. It's just... Another day of not doing very good. Hey guys, so it's still the same day as the clip before. Um, 
I might be going home today, right in this moment, I feel a little bit better. Um, I'm thinking there's certain medications that is making me nauseous and I'm trying to figure out what medications are making me sleep a lot and I'm just trying to figure that all out but I might be going home today I'm not sure um but I did want to end this video and I will update you guys again obviously I don't want to bombard you guys with hysterectomy videos so that's why I'm combining them all because I don't want this to be like this big thing on my channel because kind of miserable so anyways thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye goodbye